Hello students, continuing with chapter 10 circles, let's take a look at the solved example on page 183, that's question number 3. Here we have a circle with center O, where AB is the diameter. You have the chord CD that is equal to the radius of the circle. And also when A, AC and BD are extended, they intersect or meet at point E. I need to prove that angle AEB is equal to 60 degrees. So how do I do this? Now first of all, what is striking us here is the chord CD is equal to the radius of the circle. So somewhere you have a chord and if you have two radii and the chords connect with the two radii, then you will get an equilateral triangle. So here is the catch. What we are going to do is we are going to join the points CO and OD. So now you have CD equal to the radii of the circle where OC and OD are the radii of the circle. Therefore, this triangle here is an equilateral triangle. What do we know about equilateral triangles? That each angle is 60 degrees. So here, this angle is going to be 60 degrees, this one is 60 degrees, and this one is 60 degrees. So now, let's take a look at angle COD. And if I join C to B, look at COD and CBD. They are subtended by the same chord CD. So here the very important thing that we need in our question is chord CD. So again I did another construction. Now COD and CBD, what is the relationship? They are subtended by the same chord. One is subtended at the center and the other is subtended at the circumference. What have we learnt in theorem 10.8? that the angle subtended by a chord at the center of the circle is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. So angle CBD is going to be 30 degrees. Right? So CBD out here, this angle is 30 degrees. Correct? Now, this angle ACB it is subtended by your chord AB or arc AB. AB points A and B lie on the uh, endpoints of your semicircle. Therefore, angle ACB, this angle out here is 90 degrees. So, this entire angle is 60 plus. So, this entire angle I am marking with double lines. This is 90 degrees. Correct? And so what we are left with, see ACB and BCE, they form a linear pair. So this entire thing, ACB plus ABC, uh, BCE is going to be 180 degrees, but ACB is already 90 degrees, therefore BCE is going to be 90 degrees. Now if you take a look at your triangle ECB, you have this angle EC. In your, triangle, in your triangle ECB, you have angle ECB as 90 degrees, you have EBC as 30 degrees. So this angle will be how much? 180 minus 90 minus 30, which is 60 degrees. Why 180 minus 90 minus 30? It's because of the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So let us go ahead and write the proof along with the construction. So I'll say join points or draw radii OC and OD and also we will draw CB, correct? So this was your construction. Now, in triangle OCD, CD is equal to OB, CD is equal to OC, which is equal to OD, given that CD is equal to radius of the circle. 
is equal to the radius. CD is equal to the length of radii. Here also the given will slightly change is equal to the length of radius of the circle. It's CD is not the radius, it is equal to the length. Therefore, you will have triangle OCD is an equilateral triangle. Correct? Therefore, which angle do we need? We need angle COD. Therefore, angle COD is equal to 60 degrees. Now, angle COD and angle CBD are subtended by the same chord CD at the center and circumference respectively. Therefore, angle CBD is equal to half angle COD, correct? Therefore, angle CBD is equal to half of 60 degrees, which is equal to 30 degrees. So, I am just writing it here, angle CBD is equal to 30 degrees. Let us mark this as 1 and here is your theorem 10.8. Because according to theorem 10.8, the angle subtended by the same, the angle subtended by the same chord at the center of the circle and the circumference of the circle, then the angle subtended at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference. So I have written this for you and give ref given reference to theorem 10.8. So now we need to find the other angles for this triangle. So the other angle is this one that we need to find so that we can find the length of CEB. So once you find the length of CEB, you can say that AEB is 60 degrees, correct? So let us go ahead and now find the length of BC, BCE, correct? So now angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees because angle ACB is subtended by endpoints of arc of a semicircle. But angle ACB plus angle BCE is equal to 180 degrees through the linear pair axiom. Therefore, now ACB is 90 degrees, so 90 degrees plus angle BCE is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle BCE is 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. Therefore, angle BCE is equal to 90 degrees because 180 minus 90 is 90. Let us mark this as 2. So now we are finally going to take your triangle BCE. So in triangle BCE, angle BCE, so angle BCE plus angle CEB plus angle EBC is equal to 180 degrees through sum of angles of triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So which angles do we have? We have found the measure of angle BCE which is 90 degrees. So therefore 90 degrees plus angle CEB. CEB is the angle that we need to find out that is AEB right. So angle CEB plus EBC is so where is EBC? It is this angle. CBD is the same as EBC. So CBD is the same as CBE, correct? 
which is EBC. So here what I will say that angle instead of EBC I will write CBD is equal to 180 degrees and in brackets I will say from 2 and 1 and also because angle CBD is equal to angle EBC right therefore 90 plus angle CEB so you don't need 1 over here because here we are only renaming the angle right so angle uh, 90 degrees plus angle CEB plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees and here I will say from 1 right therefore 90 plus 30 is how much 120 therefore angle CEB plus 120 degrees is equal to 180 degrees therefore angle CEB is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees which is 60 degrees CEB is the same as angle AEB so AEB is equal to 60 degrees why because C lies on the point C lies on the point uh, on the line segment AC A and E on the line segment AE hence we have proved so please take a look at the solution of this proof it's, it's pretty simple Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.